in the Caribbean, we just think it's just like sitting down and, and doing some drawing and putting it on a screen and that's it. Uh, I've had to, to educate a lot of people over the years and, and, and locally uh, when we do get uh, work, um, we usually get work from uh, different agencies who want to create um, pr uh, animated products to kind of send a message or, you know, things like PSAs and informational videos. And they want to see certain things, but they, they think, well, that's just going to take a couple of weeks. And I'm, I'm like, no, you, what you're asking for is a full production here. And this is how it's done properly. So I've had, I've had, I've had many conversations over the years and I had to correct a lot of people in terms of, uh, you know, what, what they thought animation was and how long it was going to take with what they were telling me they wanted. And, um, you know, what those who were willing, you know, and we, when we got the jobs and so on, you know, I basically, uh, started by doing like a production schedule, showing them like, this is, this is what, needs to be done and if you are looking to do something in the future you can't contact us when you are about to do you want the animation in like two three weeks that doesn't work you have when you're starting the project you have to start uh with animation in mind and you know have a dialogue with us so that we could give you a schedule before you even start the project so um it's just a matter of uh one educating the business community on how animation can work for them uh in their business and then for those who because we're always talking about all oh, the animation industry is this billion dollar industry and we want to tap into that but if you want to tap into that you have to know how right you have to know um how to uh set up yourself in business how to start and um start networking and making those connections but then of course you must have at least some idea of the technical aspect of what goes into animation because if you let's say you're a business person and you do want to you know you set up a studio and so on you have to know how to go about that and you can't set up a studio and pay for all of this stuff uh, all of the overheads and you don't have work you have to figure out first how you're going to bring in that work if if that's the route you're going to go um, we are freelancers we happen to uh, come together very cohesively and uh, with AJ and, and Chowali and a few other people who are like yeah you know this you guys are, are doing, this is this is great. And they started sending us work and we started learning the workflow and so on and, and talent came together. Um, once we really got that education and got some of our animators decided, you know, they're gonna go to Canada and experience, you know, what it's like to work in a studio but we still stuck together. Uh, once I had work, they worked uh, with us after their regular working hours, things like that. Um, and it really, the education is nonstop for us. And we have really a good view of what that is. And at this stage now, we are really looking to take it to the next level um, you know, have our own IPs and so on. But uh, again, going back to educating the community, um, just regular everyday people, business people and so on, um, they need to, to really take a deep dive. If, if it is animation is to thrive in the Caribbean, uh, we really have to get a really good understanding of what it takes to be an animator and being an animator, you know, you have to hone the skill. It's, it's like being a, a carpenter. Yes, you have the tools, you have the wood in you, 
uh, you initially learn the basics of cutting and so on, but over time, uh, you hone the skill. Animation is the same thing. You learn, you get your tools, your software, and so on, and you learn how to use those. But then you have to infuse the 12 principles of animation and, and really uh, hone those skills so that you can get better, so your animation can get better, and you can then compete on an international level. So there are many different facets uh, to build in the industry, but it's just for us to really um, take it seriously, a little more seriously than we have been um, in recent years.